Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave is here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and thank you for joining me in my continuation of my long and drawn out closing of 2013. This is my 2013 year in review. 2013 was a non-standard year for me, so we're closing it out in a non-standard fashion. No top 10 list, just some silly awards. As with all attempts to award, order, or recognize anything in this life, these are completely subjective, so forgive me if I left out your favorite this or that. With that out of the way, let's get to the award. Crowdfunded Game of the Year 2012 was a massive year for crowdfunding and gaming based on several high-profile projects that brought in millions of dollars. Well, 2013 was also a massive year for crowdfunding and gaming, but this time around, instead of a set of large projects, you actually had a diverse field of hundreds of games asking for only thousands of dollars, and they got it. Many of these games blew away their funding goals by thousands of percentage points. It was a pretty good year to be on a crowdfunding website with a mostly finished game in need of only about 10,000 or so more dollars for polish and additional features before you put the thing out the door. I think this is actually a really good trend for crowdfunding because I'm more comfortable personally with someone approaching me holding a cake and telling me all they need is the money to buy the icing. And in 2013, when it came to video game crowdfunding, a whole heck of a lot of cakes were iced, and not too many were ordered fresh from scratch. And indeed, my selection for best crowdfunded game of 2013 comes from this camp of games just looking for that last push to completion and release, and not funding a fresh project from start. My crowdfunded game of 2013 is... Forced. Danish developer Beta Dwarf posted a $40,000 Kickstarter campaign in hopes of funding the final stretch of the game, getting it polished, and getting it out to the masses. When the success of the Kickstarter seemed like it might be in jeopardy, Beta Dwarf made a genius move by releasing a huge, like, three-foot-long vertical image file that told the story of the company up to that point. These guys started out squatting in an empty classroom that they found at their college and started developing the game there before eventually being kicked out, moving over to a house, continuing development, living together as a massive team, working together, creating the game that would become Forced. Now at first glance, Forced might look a little bit like a Diablo clone, but that is in visual execution only. Actually playing the game reveals that it's far from a Diablo clone. It is an action-based puzzle-solving game. Yes, there's combat, it feels a little bit brawler-ish, but really the focus is on using your spirit mentor, the little orb guy that's flying around in the video footage, to solve puzzles. The game works well in single player, but even better in cooperative play. I've been playing it in three player co-op, I've got about four hours into it, and I cannot say enough about how great this game is in co-op. It feels like it was designed from the ground up for that fun sort of occasionally maybe stab your co-op partner in the back just for giggles style of play. I've really had a fun time with this game and it is an absolute highest recommendation. And that is why it is my crowdfunded game of 2013. If you'd like to share your thoughts on Forced or any other crowdfunded game that was released in 2013, please do so in the comments below. Otherwise, hang around here for more year-in-review silliness. I have been Big Dave, and as always, take it easy.